Guys, again, this is another international disgrace on Pablo Escobar Tip Tinubu. International disgrace on him and on Nigerians. Guys, eh, this is this this is deep. See, Qatar, hey Jesus Christ, Qatar, yeah. Qatar rejects Tinubu's visit. Re Qatar rejects Tinubu's request to visit on a state visit. Okay. I don't want to go too much, but I'm going to read the news to you guys. We are going to be reading together on, on, on the screen, all right? But isn't it the act of it? Qatar Yeo rejecting Nigeria president request on state visit. No, but what they said on themselves, what are we going to benefit? What is Tinubu coming to discuss that he has not been able to use to benefit his country? Is it not the Tinubu that, that is on all over that was a drug baron uh, in the US? Is not the Tinubu that is all over that that is well known that uh, he, he, um, he rigged himself into power? So I'm sure the leadership of Qatar, they've met, they start to go and look into it. With a country where other uh, you know um, big organizations, companies, they are living in mass, and their president that couldn't keep them. He was coming to discuss. What's he coming to see us for? They rejected his request. Be, then Nigeria, before you proceed on the we proceed on this view, be realistic to yourself. Isn't it a slap on you as a Nigeria? Is it a slap on we as Nigerians? Is it, it a, is it this a disgrace? If you don't see this as a, as a disgrace, I wonder what you see it. Me, I see this as a monumental disgrace, a monumental shame. Please, before going to this, you join me as we read it on the screen now. Before you go to, into this, this news in detail, please help me and like this video and make sure you share it on the, the year years of all the Agbadorians. Here is it. Thank you. According to People's Gaz Gazette, Qatar rejects Tinubu's visitation request for business parley. Qatari authority have turned down President Let's start again, please. Okay. Qatari authorities have turned down President Bola Tinubu's request to visit the nation and hold a business and investment forum. The Qatari government, in a letter to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs on Thursday, disclosed that it would not be able to welcome Mr. Tinubu and hold the proposed forum on March 2nd and 3rd due to the lack of a legally binding agreement between Qatar and Nigeria for the promotion of investment. It also noted that its Ministry of Commerce had other commitments on the days Mr. Tinubu desired to visit. The Embassy has the honor to inform that the Ministry of Commerce and Industry Qatar apologized that it will not be able to hold a business and investment forum as proposed by Nigeria's side because there is no any agreement signed between the state of Qatar and the Federal Republic of Nigeria on investment promotion and protection. Hmm. She's shame. The letter sent to the Foreign Affairs Ministry on February 22nd stated, the Gulf nation further stressed that East Commerce and Industry Minister Sheikh Mohammed B. Ahmad bin Asin Atani will be carrying out official mission outside the country during the upcoming visit period, which makes him unavailable to meet with Nigeria Lira. It added that its officials would be too busy because uh, Qatar was hosting his own web summit. At the same time, Mr. Pablo Escobar Tif Tinubu planned to visit. The state of Qatar will be hosting a web summit during the suggested